imps, do you want to know what really, really grinds my gears? You want to know what bothers me? The fact that we live in a current cultural moment in which basically every other week we have to be subjected to the obnoxious uh, uh, ear-piercing whines of a bunch of pathetic losers, uncreative, non-creative people uh, being mad over a person being gay or there being a black character in a piece of media or a woman being too fat or too skinny in a piece of media that they formerly claimed to have liked. It is the most pathetic state of affairs, okay? It is genuinely upsetting. And I wish that I could be, like, upset, like, by what they're actually, like, saying. Like, they're like, oh, we're making such a good art, but I'm not. I'm just upset about the fact that we have to hear it all the time. Because there's nothing, what they say is so stupid, it can't even really get to you, you know? Like, once you've heard, oh, I'm mad that there's a black samurai in Assassin's Creed, who, oh, that's not historical, in a game where uh, uh, da Vin Leonardo da Vinci invented a goddamn tank, and, and, and uh, George Washington got a magic apple from aliens that let him become king or some shit. Commander. Like, in a series like that, it's, it's, you, you can put it out of mind when you come across the argument that, like, oh, it's not historical. But when you have to hear it all the time, getting boosted and blasted all over social media by, like, five guys, and they're, like, they're, like, supportive donors who pay for ads. It is the most obnoxious and exhausting thing that I can possibly imagine. And it happens every other goddamn week now. We are certainly living in the era of Gamergate 2. It's just that this time Gamergate 2 is even more uh, brain melted, boring, and smelly. Th this... I don't even, oh my god, where do I even start with this? There's been the Hades thing, there's been the Assassin's Creed 2, or not 2, Assassin's Creed, what's it called, Shadows, that they're mad about. What else have they been mad about? Oh, they were mad about, um, they were mad about, like, two outfits getting changed, uh, in, in, um, why am I blank, a Stellar Blade? It's like every other day you hear some, basically some adult baby crying their brains out over something that doesn't matter at all. It's exhausting. And it's so stupid because there's so much to talk about. Not only does it not matter, like there's a hundred thousand games out there. If you don't want to play a game with a black character, there's a hundred thousand games that don't have black characters that you could go play right now. They're just mad that any game has a black character in it. They're just mad that any game has a trans character in it. They're just mad that any game depicts a gay kiss or even mentions gayness at all. These people lose their shit over a, 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 a pride flag appearing in a secret area in a video game, okay? It is pathetic. And exhausting. And I think that uh, we should be ashamed as like a uh, as like a species. Like humanity should be ashamed that this is where we're at. You know, that we've allowed our collective uh, existence uh, to, to make this like a thing that can really happen. You know? Redcon404 says they're mad that Kingdom Come 2 has the option to play as a black person. Yeah, they're pathetic. These people are a genuine embarrassment. And the truth is, and the thing that's encouraging to me, of course, is that nobody takes them seriously. We just have to hear them because social media has been quite literally hijacked. And by that I mean that uh, some loaded motherfucker, excuse me, my goodness, some loaded motherfucker can um can just roll out an ad for like a quartering video where the quartering drunkenly drools out that he's mad about a black person in a video game again oh god it's so tiring do you remember that guy losing his goddamn mind over pronouns that was like two months ago 
or whatever. Maybe it was more than two months ago. It was really recent, okay? Time is like a mess, and we and we have to hear another guy screeching about pronouns. And it's like a new one is born every day. Because, um, like, uh, there's this, there's this streamer. You guys probably know who he is. His name's, like, Asmongold. Now, I knew of Asmongold as, like, a World of Warcraft no-lifer. Okay, I mean like a true no lifer. Like this is guy. Like he was like a um, mildly funny uh, uh, Warcraft guy. He would make World of Warcraft videos about raiding, and he like lived in a pile of garbage. Like, but he had a consistent upload schedule, and he you know had a lot of opinions about the games, and so he made waves in the Warcraft space. Well, since then. Um, you know, credit to him, he seems to be a fairly astute businessman of some sort, but he's grown his, like, channel presence massively, and he owns a company that's, like, really successful, and so his YouTube channel is, like, enormous, okay? Um, and this guy hasn't changed, like, his presentation at all. He hasn't, like, grown as a person at all since he was, like, a Warcraft guy. He just kind of blathers his opinion at any moment, and he contradicts himself like every other stream. The dude just rambles. But he's a huge presence now. And even though he's still filming from within a pile of garbage, um, he's now started to become obsessed with wokeness. And he's been doing all these videos where... Uh, he, you know, turns on his camera and rambles nonsense about how he's mad that, like, the Wokes are censoring video games for some reason. And uh, his, like, World of Warcraft-fueled fan base get really annoyed about it. Now, of course, in the big scheme of things, he's got a big YouTube channel, and that doesn't really mean much. Uh, even the biggest YouTube channel, until you're, like, Mr. Beast level, you don't really, uh, you don't really, like, claim to, to speak for a a significant chunk of society as a whole. Nobody really can do that. Even Mr. Beast can't. But Mr. Beast has the ability to reach so many people that even the news will pick it up. Um, so it's not like uh, it's not like this guy is gonna like you know issue a diktat and and we're gonna see you know him changing the way gaming is going. But what he can do is he can make all of his grognards in his audience, these, these like troglodytes, roll out into every comment section everywhere going, Oh, I'm so mad! The Wokes are stealing our games! And so you have to see that inescapably, no matter where you go. There'll be a, a comment section with 40 people talking about how excited they are for a game, of, of, of 60 people saying, wow, I love your design, and then there'll be some guy typing in all caps with 400 comments going, I'm so mad they made her look unfuckable! I'm so mad that the goddess Hestia is an old lady! I don't want a fucking old lady! Old ladies are ew, yucky! I fucking hate it. Oh my god. Oh yeah, the sweet baby strikes again thing. There is on Steam, the equivalent of what I'm talking about here is um is the the, the sweet baby people. There's a there's a group of people and I mean this, literally mindless drones. Okay? These people are they they do not have an inner world, okay? They follow a a big list and I can't remember what the list is called. There's like a, a curator list on Steam. They follow this list and it tells them which games apparently are woke. And recently they've been doing this sweet baby detected thing because the, the, the uh, slightly evolved pond scum among them have like developed the idea that there's um like they're smart enough to think like strings of words together and they go, oh, it must be um, this company, this consultancy firm called Sweet Baby, they're the ones to blame. And they've decided that Sweet Baby is to blame for everything. And so there's these NPCs, these basically drones, they're like, like, they're basically like ants, but without the ability to like smell or sense pheromones. Um, and they will, whenever that that curator list posts a new game, they flood into the comments, into the reviews, and they post reviews saying, sweet baby detected, wokeness must die, wokeness must go. And of course this does nothing but basically like 
distress the small game companies that are trying to sell a game and also bother the fans of that game who are just having a good time. These people don't care about the game, obviously. They're just posting, and I mean it literally, copy-pasted comments. Sweet baby detected, sweet baby detected en masse. It's like, it would be... I feel like it would be better if it were bots because the, I, the knowledge that this is actual living, breathing human beings that are taking time out of their day to copy paste at the behest of a faceless steam curator in, in the war against woke, the fact that that's like a real, con that, that depresses me so greatly. It makes me filled with a, a deep sense of sorrow at the state of the world. Anyway. Um, sorry, I lost my cool there a little bit. Uh, you got me going about the goblins, you know. I just, I lost my cool. I'm sorry about that. Oh, my God. Oh, my fucking God. Uh, is this sweet baby in the room with us? Uh, uh, Patrick Cheek says, is that related to Matt Walsh's sweet baby gang? Actually, believe it, uh, believe it or not, no. They have nothing to do with each other. Sweet Baby Inc. is like, uh, a writing consultancy firm that worked on a couple of games and helps people not make like uh, like cultural errors, you know, so that you don't accidentally say something offensive in your game. And uh, these people have convinced themselves that like this company is a puppet master uh, orchestrating the inclusion of black people into their video games. And that's a problem because... Yeah, anyway, um, it's really, really annoying to me. Uh, the latest one that I've seen is uh, is gamers um, very, very angry about Assassin's Creed because they're going to have... It, it's, it takes place in Japan, and the main character is the actual historical figure. Uh, there was a black samurai, samurai named Yasuke, and... He's like a real historical figure, but they've obviously embellished it so that to fit into the universe of their uh, of their game in which you can use magical DNA alien technology to travel back in time. Um, you know, wow, shocker! They, they you know they modified the story a little bit, but took inspiration from a real historical event. Anyway, they're having a giant pants shitting off, and we all have to smell it. Um, you can't block them all. I've tried. Trust me, um, I've tried for years. But um, unfortunately, they kind of leak, you know? Um, it's, like a, it's like a pair of D-pants that has a hole in it. As somebody's walking around. People like Mark Grums have holes in their fucking underpants that are loaded with diarrhea. And they got, they've sprung a leak and they spray the diarrhea out all over everywhere they walk. Um, and it sucks. You're just eating your sandwich and all of a sudden... You just get sprayed by a line of somebody's fucking punctured underpants. It's horrible. Um, I hate it. You're not supposed to use them when they have a leak. Well, you never know until you try, right? You have a cursed imagination? No, I don't have an imagination. Tr I, I assure you that when I'm just enjoying my life, like trying to watch a video about, um, I don't know, some new game, and then, uh, uh, like, okay, this happened with Hades, where I was watching a video about Hades, and then, from some random creator, and they were just talking about random stuff about the game, and then they started getting increasingly angry, until they, and this is a game in early access, mind you, a follow-up to the game, the, to, to Hades 1, which is like a, a crazy diverse game where everybody's gay, because that's how the Greek, they decided to depict the Greek gods. And it's amazing, by the way. One of my favorite games. But they're all mad because they're like, uh, I just feel like, um, you know, I, trust me. I don't have a problem with stories about women. But I just don't like that, um, that it's like the, the, the character is boring to me. She's boring. You know, I like the male character better. She's boring. She's she has a different personality than the male character, and um, the male characters in the show they seem like they're bad guys or stupid, and I'm like, 
first of all, I don't believe you. I haven't played Hades 2 yet, so I don't believe that every male character in Hades 2 is stupid or evil. But um, I don't know if people missed the first game, but one of the main characters in the first Hades is your fucking asshole dad, and he's both stupid and evil. It just turns out that that's a type of character that sometimes exists, and sometimes that character is a dude. Um, but I have to, I have to hear this shit. I'll be just watching a video. Oh yeah, this is interesting. And then you hear this person going about, it. I'm like, all right, okay. You're a you know, uh, whatever. That's your opinion. And then you scroll down into the comments of other videos of people just talking about and enjoying the game. And you see these screeching idiots going, oh, DEI is going to be the death of us all. And it's like, dude, what are you fucking talking about? Where, what does DEI have literally anything to do with Hades 2? You go watch a video that's talking about a strategy for beating a boss in Hades. And they're like, DEI means that I have to see a character that looks Asian to me. <sighs> oh my god. I saw this thread that was like... Okay, let me give you the epitome of this, okay? There was a thread that went... I, I don't want to say viral because it isn't really like viral. That doesn't really exist anymore. But it, it got enough attention that like Twitter was pushing the thread to everybody's timelines. Okay. And I mean, everybody I know got who ever goes on Twitter at all uh, had to see this stupid thread. It was a thread about a, a re. They, they had an artist redo the art of Aphrodite from Hades, okay? And I want to show you. I want, I just want you to see what Aphrodite looks like in Hades, okay? Just real quick. I just want to show you what, what we're talking about here so you guys have an idea of, of where we're at, okay? Ready? Here we go. You guys can see that? Can everybody see that? Let me, let me see. There we go. Okay, y'all, y'all can see that, okay? So they, they had this character from Hades, okay? And the thread was like, <laughs> you, you want to see what Aphrodite would look like if she didn't look like a man? Okay? And what they had done, all right, was they had erased her face and put on, and I'm not even kidding you, what appeared to be like a generic anime face. And then they uh, s used Photoshop to sculpt her arms, belly, and ass smaller. Okay. I just want, I just, the reason I bring this up, okay, is just because I need you people to understand I truly need you to understand how phenomenally stupid and out of touch these people are, okay? And also that just because on the stupidest website on the internet, they can they can force their their stupid uh, thread to get to the point where the website that's desperately filling your timelines fills it up with this type of garbage does not mean that anybody cares about any of these people, okay? And I can tell you, the one piece of hope that I have in all of this, or not the one, but one of the main pieces of hope that I have in all of this is the fact that people are tired of their shit. In fact, it's almost sad because when that thread was trending on Twitter and people were talking about it on YouTube, because that often happens, that something trends on one social media and then discourse about it trends on another piece of social media. Incredible system we have set up here. Um, but uh, when that was happening, um, it, the vast majority of stuff was just people making fun of it, which is kind of tragic in a way, right? That like the, there is an entire class of people who have basically uh, fallen into the role desperately trying to post the stupidest thing they can possibly imagine and they are genuine and they don't realize that they're doing this they've become clowns and they don't even know that they're clowns it's so sad but anyway um that's their role they try to post the stupidest thing as possible so that it gets enough reasonable people mad about it that they get 10 seconds of fame 
but there's enough of them that when they get when they get particularly motivated, they can like ruin the lives of one random person. Like what happens a lot is like um like there was that Helldivers 2 community manager who got all of her like private info dumped onto the internet because uh, while nobody gave a fucking shit about the whiners whining about, uh, you know, Helldivers 2, um, this is before the PSN thing, which actually made quite a lot of people mad for obvious reasons, um, an actual thing to be frustrated about. But uh, back before when they were, you know, talking about wokeness and all this shit, they freaked out on like some random community manager. There's just enough of these troglodytes to like ruin one person's life. Uh, but the rest of us just have to smell their disgusting diarrhea dumps that they take in the middle of a room. Anyway, that's all I really have to say on it. I hate these people. Uh, I think that they collectively damage our mental capabilities uh, as the human race. They ruin the environment around art. They are responsible for making gaming a uh, boiling vat of diarrhea. Uh, I hate them, and uh, I resent that we ever have to hear their opinions. If, I, if it was possible that we could, as a species, move on from whining about a black character being a character in the game, if we could never have that conversation again, I would love it. Unfortunately, we have to have that conversation because there's just enough of these morons uh, that the rest of us have to deal with them. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe down below.